explain the construction and working of a semiconductor laser. Let's first discuss the construction of a semiconductor laser. It consists of P-type semiconductor and N-type semiconductor, which are joined together through some special techniques. P-type semiconductor consists of negative ions and holes, whereas N-type semiconductor consists of positive ions and electrons. When these P-type and N-type semiconductors are joined, electrons flow from N-type to P-type and holes flow from P-type to N-type and recombine near the junction. As a result, all the holes and electrons near the junction recombine, leaving behind the positive and negative ions. This positive and negative ions form an electric field which oppose any further movement of electrons and holes near the junction. The region which consists of only positive and negative ions is known as the depletion region of the PN junction diode. This complete assembly is also known as the PN diode. Now let's understand the working of this semiconductor laser. When this PN junction diode is forward biased, by connecting the positive terminal of the battery with the P-type semiconductor and negative terminal of the battery with the N-type semiconductor, we see that the electrons from the N-type and holes from the P-type start moving towards the depletion region and recombine with each other, releasing energy in the form of photons. The released photons are coherent and thus behave as a laser. Note that all the semiconductors cannot be used to form a laser. Laser can be formed only with some special type of direct semiconductors like gallium arsenide. Also note that in a semiconductor laser, usually its depletion region is considered as the active medium and the forward biased current is considered as the pump.